This video has been brought to you by eRepublic Labs. If you're a fan of the Civil War, then man, are you in luck today. Because War and Peace is one heck of a game that you can download right now using the App Store or Google Play. Gather resources, build your base, and defend it from other players in this real-time strategy game. You'll need to put your noggin to work to succeed here, as you'll need to strategize to fight through battle maps based on historical battles using authentic Civil War military weapons and artillery. If you don't mind me asking, is it possible for me to join the Southern side? You may side with the Union and Abraham Lincoln, or, alternatively, join the Confederacy with Jefferson Davis. You'll see some familiar faces here, as multiple commanders are based on famous Civil War personalities, each having individual skills and bonuses. Yes, and if you want to join those traitor scums of the South that dared secede from me, you very much can. Not judging, it's your choice and all. If you want to try it out for yourself, be sure to check the link in the description below. Greetings, I am Russian Empire. I wish to talk to America, if that's a possibility. No can do, sir. I'm afraid we found ourselves in a bit of hot water with some domestic issue. Perhaps it would be best to delay your meeting with him after we've settled everything first? That is fine. I will be willing to sell the territory of Alaska, of which I own, to America. Got it. I'll be sure to relay a message to America for you. America! Sir! The Russian Empire has asked me to tell you that he wishes to sell a piece of his territory to us. We've got bigger fish to fry now, DC. I was hoping you could help me figure out how to handle this delicate situation. There's never been a greater divide between North and South, and I don't want this situation to escalate into, let's say, a civil war. Everyone's crazy out there. Talking about fish, you think you could order us some sushi for lunch? That will be done, sir. Good evening. I've previously contacted your assistant to schedule a meeting to discuss a potential deal on which I aim to sell Alaska to you. Assistant? Oh, hello there! Uh, sorry, pal, but I'm afraid right now is not the best moment. As you may see, we are in the middle of a civil war! Yeah, but don't worry about our war. We'll take care of it in no time. These backwood southerners ain't got a chance against us. I'll put my starting price at five million dollars, but we can bargain later. I shall be back in a few years then. Hey, do you remember back when Russia wanted to sell us something? It was that thing called Alaska, right? Where is that anyways? Well, sir, it's on the same continent, North America. It borders British Canada to the east. How about we go and scout that area to see what it's worth, huh? Excellent idea! Well, it's a desolate barren tundra with not much going on. How long does it stretch? According to our estimates, about more than half a million square miles which would come to be twice the size of Texas. Now that's big! But I mean, I don't exactly see what we can do with the place. We can't grow anything to eat here, and it's not exactly a tourist hotspot. That's a valid argument, though I reckon there's plenty of timber, fishing, and mining endeavors we may exploit in the area. Do you have any idea why Russia would want to get rid of this place so bad? From what I have gathered, in 1856, Russia lost its Crimean War against the Ottoman Empire, France, Sardinia, and Britain. The aftermath of the war left the Russian Empire in desperate need for money to repay its war costs. Oh, kind of like France, huh? The French wanted money to fund their Napoleonic Wars, so they sold the Louisiana Territory to us. It would seem like that's the case, sir. 
Russia aims to get money by selling a territory they deem useless. Take a listen. That's the sound of freedom. Man, this place is filled to the brim with bald eagles! It's kind of like it was meant to be. So I say, sure, why not? Let's buy the place. Be sure to call Russia to the Oval Office immediately, because we've got a deal to settle now. Chug, 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 till the last drop. Uh, oh, I beg you pardon me, gentlemen. Yo, that's so rad of you to bring the drinks, Eric. You're such a stellar feller. Eric, I think you just drank your own weight in beer! <laughs> Are you sure you're going to be alright, buddy? Yeah, no worries. I'm a rat. The enzymes of my body have evolved through countless generations to digest anything with ease. Oh, hello, DC. We were just waiting for you. One of my best friends is visiting from Ohio. His name is Eric. What's up, DC? Is this a bad time? Were you guys drinking? Not me. I was just drinking some good old canned corn brine. Maybe the rest, though. But don't worry, we're all over 21. For instance, it's been 91 years since 1776, so I'm almost a century old. Wait a second. If we're going by that logic, wouldn't that make West Virginia underage since it's only been four years since he became a state? That logic makes no sense. West Virginia has a long history spanning hundreds of years, and besides, I can handle the booze pretty well. I can't really say the same about my fellow West Virginian vidis vids. I think he's about to throw up. No, not on the presidential rug! I'll go scrape him off the floor and take him to the presidential bathroom. Well, I hope you guys have reached a consensus about the purchase, because Russia is waiting outside the office. Yep, dude, don't worry about that, uh, dog. Uh, yes, that's exactly what we were doing before, discussing the Alaska purchase. Hello, I'm sure you'll find Alaska to be a good acquisition, since it has been an extensive territory, and it's relatively close to you. Howdy, Russia. You know, I was just wondering why you would want to sell Alaska to us. I'm starting to think that there's something fishy about it. Anything bad? If it's about the Bigfoot population, trust me. They're not that hard to handle. Not anything bad, of course. Over the years, it has become more apparent that Alaska has turned more into a liability than a profit. Its location is so distant from Moscow that it makes it really challenging to manage. Yes, I totally understand. If I'm being honest with you, I deeply fear the British would take over my territory through British Canada. If I were ever to wage war again on Britain, they would have the upper hand while I wouldn't be able to defend Alaska in time. At this point, I think Britain have enough influence over the globe, and you owning the place would be a nice counter to their expansion. That's interesting, because in a way, that was the exact same reason France sold Louisiana for dirt cheap to us. Not that I'm complaining, of course. Indeed. France's resentment against Britain is such that they are willing to sell a huge chunk of their empire, so Britain wouldn't have it in the long run. Yes, so don't worry about the Brits. We'll take good care of Alaska. Trust me. We know a thing or two about handling Brits. I'm glad to hear that. In terms of price, you suggested a five million dollar price for the territory. I think that's a little too cheap for such a vast territory. How about seven million then? Seems fair to me. All right then, it's a deal. Is that beer I smell? You could use something a little bit stronger, don't you think? I've got a bottle of vodka I was hoping I could share with you. Way to go, dude. I think y'all had enough. Thank you, Russia. We'll save this for later, but I appreciate it. I think we're gonna be good friends. Of course, it would be a shame if you, oh, I don't know, for some reason decided to turn into a state with an opposing economic ideology than me. But yeah, that's silly. We're good pals now, and that's all that matters. Huh? And just like this, it's all ours now. Seems we're your only neighbors now, Canada. I still think purchasing this place wasn't the best of ideas. We could have used the money for more important issues, but no. 
We bought a big old chunk of uselessness. Man, I think you're a little jealous of Alaska taking over to spa of the biggest states, aren't you? <laughs> Bless your heart, Callie. You really think this will end up being a state one day? It's hardly got the population or an actual governing body to be a territory. Besides, if for some reason folks would be insane enough to move up here in large numbers, Alaska would end up being carved up. Much like Louisiana and yours truly. Texas size doesn't matter. You know what does? What? It's gold. You guys, we found gold! This place ain't so worthless after all. I told you this would be a good investment. Who needs all that gold when you have coal? <laughs>